Daniel Topolsky was for two decades synonymous with the boat race. He was a champion oarsman, a journalist and a broadcaster, and of course, a coaching phenomenon. Cambridge are gonna go all out for that first three minutes. Of the 15 races that Dan was coach, Oxford beat Cambridge 12 times, including 10 consecutive wins. My word! There is the Bulgarian climax. We had a enormous clap of thunder. The stormy 1987 boat race typified Dan's coaching. Abandoned by some of his strongest American oarsmen, he filled their seats with reserves. Telling Dan that anything was impossible was like trying to turn back the Thames with a teaspoon. Well, if Dan Topolsky has got the screw into this sort of condition after all the trouble they've had, it really is a remarkable achievement. The 87 race remains one of the biggest upsets in boat race history. The flag goes down and Oxford have won. They've overcome all those extraordinary difficulties. Dan went on to coach the British Olympic rowing squads in 1980 and 1984 before joining the BBC. I learned a heck of a lot from him in a short space of time. This is going to be an unbelievable thing. Oh, oh no one. Extraordinary. There was only a couple of feet in it. And I can't think there was anybody as professional and as knowledgeable as Dan. There's no one like him. He was my friend, he was a mentor, he was my wingman. Let's finish the story! And he was sort of the guiding, calming influence that kept my sort of tempo down a little bit. He was special. And I bet yes. there's a lot of people of this year's boat yep, race who have come. I'll do something for two Dan lines Topolsky about Dan and then on to Matt that Pinson. Is that OK? Back conditions, yes. So farewell and Godspeed, yes, Dan Topolsky. If his one. life was a boat race, he poured his soul into every second. And when the pain came with the finish line in sight, he pushed on through. Oxford will mourn him most, but this sport and this event has lost the giant.